when you're on your dashboard here, if you can see my screen, you'll see it down here, the WP Time Slots Booking Form. Okay. And there's all this stuff, but I usually just click on this to make it take me to the dashboard. Okay. So here are the two existing ones with all those beautiful settings we put in there. Um, so if you want one for curbside pickup, we could clone this and make a curbside pickup. Oh, okay. So let's dig in. So browsing appointments to see how everything is settling in in the inside. You just go to edit and we'll look through here. So remember, it's only showing seven days and mm -hmm. to get to the dates, I mean, um, to get to the hours and appointment times, um, you just need to select the area that you want to take a look at and then click field settings. Otherwise, I just click over here, whatever I want to look into. Okay. Um, you can open them up and look at the appointment times. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is kind of annoying and complicated. Um, but so what you could do is say, we're okay, we're going to be open from 9 a.m. This is our when we're opening. Uh, each of these appointments, we could have ten, nine or ten appoint, nine appointments during each time slot starting at nine. Each time slot is going to be an hour long, and I want to add it ten times or whatever, however long you're open, and then I'll add these kind of things. So okay. you'll so you'll see that to get the appointments correct, I said okay, we're going to start at two, and it's in military time in the in the form here. Um, okay. We're going to have six appointments each, 60 minutes, and I just said that we're going to do it, we're going to add four appointment sets, because you don't want to add one at six o'clock, and then I click right. add. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I have not played with this before, but this is where you can add in holidays. Oh, um, and so it'll it'll um, take them out. It'll put them in red or put them in in um, this like faded color. So okay. we don't have to worry about monkeying with that for a minute. We can just kind of breathe. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I set the price to zero so that we don't have to see it pop up. I set it to uh, non-military time. Here's where the max date pops in. So okay. seven days ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're not open on Sunday, so it didn't, it did not count that day, right? Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Submit, you could change it to like send my request or whatever, but I, I don't really care about that. Um, then the okay. next, I hit next. Uh, let's create a, like a thank you for your submissions page. You know, oh, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a button to get them back to the form. So I would probably just um, right now set it to thank you as the page. And we'll just call the page thank you and whatever we want it to be. We can make that next or you okay. can make that next. The default status of new books, bookings is approved unless it's already full up. Right. Okay. Yep. Um, so then you don't have to approve every dang appointment, which I think is nice. helpful. Yeah. Put it in English, month, day, year. This product name at the payment page, which you won't have one, is browsing appointment. All the users that have access, I just picked everybody. Okay. And then I do next step. Here's where I put the from email what for your for your staff to get the information about a new browsing appointment and then also for the um, users to get an email from their submission saying hey we received it we'll let you know if we need to change anything you can change that text in here okay so that's pretty cool anti-spam I didn't put the caption on here because I don't know if we'll need it so here's a cool report function you can enable the reports and have, I set it to zero so that that email will get a notification for every single submission, right? 
um, or we could set it to every day we just want one email after seven at seven a.m. I don't think that's helpful because some people book rel you know down to a couple hours ahead. You know they don't know what their schedule mm -hmm. is so. And I am going to send that report to curbside. So this is kind of an experiment because I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. Um, okay. So you'll just have to let me know. And then we'll just click save and return. So then I cloned this one to create the computer appointments. So all those background settings of who do you want the reports to go to, what emails are are getting the appointment requests and all those nitty gritties are already in here. Okay. So that's nice. So. Thank you. Yeah. So now let's play with these, right? So I can click okay. on the booking orders and separately because. Oh, nice. Right. So you can set a date range for browsing appointments and you can flip back and forth between computer appointments and browsing appointments. Okay. Um, and so we don't have any in here, so we could print, we could select print for today's date, you know, and so oh, it's as easy as that, huh? Right. That's nice. But we don't have anything in here and we could also do the same thing to export it to, uh, Excel spreadsheet, just like this, boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom. And then, you know, save this and then open it in Google Sheets if, if that's a better way to do it for your staff, right? Okay. So then they can see you updating it in real time and they don't need to be back here. Or you can print off a print list for them, right? And then just go over and update it with handwritten appointments or um, print off a new one and bring it to them. You know, like... I okay, because... I know they were talking about like they wanted it printed every hour in sure. case someone like like went in quick. So I was gonna kind of show everybody because it's the person on the door before their door shifts. They have to come print this. Oh great! So I was gonna show everybody how to do that. Yeah, I think that's great. So to get, let's just do that. So to get back to that area, you would click booking orders, or okay. you know for wh whichever one, you'd set the date range and then print. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No, I, I'm super excited about it. I know some people are a little hesitant, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah. And as long as if you like leave this screen up and you say, just pop into here, then it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's see what yeah. scheduling. Oh yeah. Scheduling is really nice because you can click on the day and just see what's ahead of you that day. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, or I can change it to schedule list view. And this is, would be the one that they would print. It would give them the date, the time, and then all the ex extra data. So oh, okay. So you'll just have to play around with it once we have we have once we have um, some testing appointments in here, right? So they could play with these three buttons. The next one is, you know, if they get a phone call and they someone wanted to add a booking, they could do that for that person. Okay. Okay. And the neat thing on the back side is you can see how many appointments are remaining or available. Oh, man. And if you put their email in here, they'll get a notification that you've booked an appointment for them. Oh, okay. So that's awesome. What else? Stats. And too, like, if, if, if the staff is like, now, I don't think nervous, but like doesn't want to put them in from the back end. Can they put them in on the website like they would a person? Like a person would log in and do their yeah. own? Like they could just go on our web page and put them in? Yeah, totally. I mean, if, if they weren't comfortable coming through the back end or something? Yeah, absolutely. So you could have yeah. two, two of your pages up here. So you could have the back end up and the front end. And here's the front end. Mm -hmm. 11, da-da-da-da, bada-boop, and yeah. there it is. Okay. All right, perfect. Yeah. So once you have one figured out, it's easier, you know, but, and mm -hmm. then you can go in there and customize the, um, the day, the day and pick up and frequency and all of that. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay. Wow. So Crazy. I'm going to just add that thank you reminder page quick. Okay. 
and then um, and then you can tweak it however you want it to go and I will link it to to a button on this same page we'll just copy a page here I find that noise really annoying I know it's so bad. <laughs> it's from the chat thing, isn't it? Yeah. From the chat, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime someone comes it. on the website. Yeah. I'm not gonna be mad at it, but. button that says submit another request and I'm just going to link it back to that forms page okay. I know how I want it to look yeah, you're fast. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do, man. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. And stop it. Ah! So um, your library appointment page is not anywhere on here, and neither is the thank you page. Okay. But what I'd like to do is submit one. And the reason we want them to click that button to submit another response is because if anything is in, these, in, the, in this field over here and they want to book a computer appointment, it'll deny them over here because there's crap over here. Oh, okay. At least that's what I've been finding. How's it going? So far, so good? Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot to pick an appointment time. Cool! <laughs> We're in. Okay. Why is the 30th? 31st? I wonder if cause is that the seven days out? Oh. Is, is that why it's doing it? Yep. Because I noticed that yesterday, too, and I was like, maybe that's why. and testing so I'll just put this one as Granger so then we can play with it uh -huh. how about that okay so that form didn't go to the thank you page okay so I won't waste your time with going back in to edit the curbside uh, pick up appointment one but I think we are all set to go so let, um, let's go to the dashboard here because I did one for a booking order and there it is. Oh, there you are. Approved okay. and testing. And so I can click print. And this is how it'll look. Oh, awesome. 10 a.m., right? I know it's that hard. And then let's go to computer. So, right now, since there's no selected date range, it would be all of everything, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's 10 a.m. And it's the first out of six, or first out of four. Oh, okay. So. Can I leave those two testers in there to show my coworkers, like, what it looks like? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh and here. is there a way, like, when we, does it, does it automatically delete things, or will it always keep them? Because we need to keep an open record request, like, of how many people, right. like, who comes in and stuff. I have Is it said. always... I have it set to keep them. Okay, good. Yeah. Because we figured we'll just, like, make sure we don't lose the papers, but I'm like, well, in case someone, like, gets rid of one, like, can I always go back and print it again? Right. Yeah, I don't remember okay. where I saw that in here, but I made sure to be like, nope, they're going to want them, so. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Reports. 
It's somewhere in here. I don't remember. Okay. No problem. Okay. And um, to get the information, I mean, to the help page, there's a I need help link down there, and it'll shoot you right oh. over here. So I okay, perfect. And it's awesome. Oh, great. So. I can't believe this is all free. I know. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay.